I am always excited to have in studio with us my good friend and a great man, Mr. Brian Johnson of Valley Mortgage. I didn't even talk about how great you're dressed and how good you smell today, but uh, yeah, it's on point again. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I uh, love making you feel uncomfortable. Uh, Brian Johnson with Valley Mortgage. Give the listening audience a little insight into who you are and what you do. Uh, I'm Brian Johnson with Valley Mortgage. Say we've been around since 1983. Uh, we specialize in home loans all over the Valley. we in Minnesota and North Dakota, all over. Mm-hmm. So. And you're all the way up uh, Grand Forks, Thief River Falls, down to Wapaton. Uh, if, if it's a North Dakota or a Minnesota loan, you can take care of that, right? Correct. Yep. I've got some clients that we're working out in Williston Dickinson area up to Rosa Warroad, Bidette, down to Minneapolis. So. Uh, does somebody need to see you face to face in order to get a loan? I mean, because you're talking about this sprawl, and my guess is the person from Williston's not driving here for an hour appointment. <laughs> or you're not going there. No, that doesn't happen too often. But, you know, in today's world, it's really easy to get everything done over the phone. Uh, electronically, we're able to send electronic documents to sign, and that makes it a lot easier and smoother for the customer. But we definitely have that conversation over the phone, so we get everything correct, and everybody knows what they need to do. Everybody's on the same page. We get the right program for everyone. Uh, the the mortgage scene is changing. I I, I go back to uh, when I bought my first house, and I bought my first house and inherited a house from my mom in 2001 when she passed away. Bought my first house in 2005. I handed the documents to the loan officer. Uh, I was there meeting with them face-to-face. It's different now. Tell me more about that. It is a lot different. Um, (coughs) And we try to make the process quite a bit easier than maybe what your traditional bank would be. We like to sit down either face-to-face with the customer or make sure we have that conversation over the phone and go in detail with reviewing their credit, reviewing their income, um, reviewing their liabilities, kind of taking a look at their bigger financial picture and making sure we're finding the right program that fits their needs. Mm -hmm. Maybe we have to consolidate some debt, pay some things off. We've had parents and uncles and grandmas and grandpas co-sign before because maybe they're new on the job or um, new to the job and having only Mm commission-based, for example, Mm -hmm. or newly self-employed. So we have different options that we take a look at, make sure we have a plan that makes sense for the customer. Or in some times we tell people, hey, maybe... Now's the time to file bankruptcy and come back in two years and get a Goo. clean slate. That's never a fun conversation, but <laughs> hey, that if that's the best route for the customer, that that's what we do. Wow. Uh, Brian, there is a, a, a trend right now of people, and, and that trend that's happening is uh, there are people who really have this idea in their mind that they can't buy a house for mm-hmm. one assumption or another. And I, I find it all the time that people will say, oh, financially, it doesn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. And they kind of stop the conversation there. Right. Unpack that for me. A lot of people struggle with how much a house payment is going to be. They don't maybe understand how much that is compared to what their rent is. Mm -hmm. And in a lot of cases, depending on what you're looking to buy, your mortgage payment may be about the same as what rent would be, if not maybe less in some cases. So um, the common myth is you need to have 20% for down payment. And that's a really big number for people to come up with. But that's on not a, a, yeah a, a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar house. That's fifty grand. Right. That's a lot of cash. It is. There's a great program in North Dakota that is the first time homebuyer program that helps you with down payment assistance, mm-hmm. um, where you can get in for as little as five hundred dollars if the seller will pay your closing. So, cost, so. not two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Five hundred dollars. Right. Like there's there's kind of a discrepancy there between I don't know forty nine thousand five hundred bucks. I'm no a, math whiz. But. That's that's a big difference, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> So there's programs like that. There's programs uh, for veterans where you can do zero down, um, and that is one of the greatest programs out there, I think. If you're buying outside the Fargo, Moorhead, and metro area, you can do a USDA Rural Development Program. That allows for zero down payment also. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot yeah, of those different are, Those options. are communities of, what is it, less than 10,000 people or I so? Think, I think it's fifteen or 20,000, yeah. Okay. So it works everywhere outside of Fargo, Moorhead, West Fargo, and Dilworth. Right. So, but, I mean, if it, it won't work in Grand Forks. It won't work in... Correct. Yep. Yep. In those larger places. Uh Brian, right now, uh, 2018, if anybody is saying, I'm going to buy a house right now, they're not going to close till 2018, mm-hmm. what should we expect next year? You know, it's poised that rates aren't going to increase quite as high as what they originally thought a few months ago. Which is good It is, us, right? Yep. I think for the most part, interest rates might tick up a quarter percent for the year mm-hmm. by the end of the year. And then into 2019, maybe another eighth to a quarter percent. So things are going to stay relatively flat. So um, I think that'll help the market. Prices are stabilizing too, and I think now's a good time to take a look at uh, looking to buy. So, 
Uh, <clears throat> here's what I know, Brian, is uh, we're going to, uh, in next week's show or the week after that, we're going to look at the year in review to see what's happened with real estate and home sales and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, our market has uh, grown. Uh, there's been more houses that have sold this year than last year. Home prices haven't rapidly like hit up that four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten percent increase. Mm -hmm. They've they've more uh, flatlined or have increased just a little. Uh, do you expect the same in 2018? You know, that's hard to say. Yeah. I would say it might be a little bit more growth than what we had this year. Okay. I think the market will be a little bit stronger than what it was in 2017. Uh, so I think you're, you're saying we're poised for a good year, low rates, uh, house prices that aren't radical and yet still are appreciating for the sellers. Right. I think there's going to be a strong economic <laughs> market that'll help jobs. People will be looking to move and build and move up. And I think that'll help our whole market. Uh, tis the season to buy a house. I think December is <laughs> one of those times. Did you know, Brian, more people are looking at houses right now and in January than in any other time of the year? Yeah, because, I did know that, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I probably told you. You did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, people are looking at houses right now, and uh, they're going to places like livefargamorehead.com to see the houses that are available, and they're sitting inside uh, mm -hmm. dreaming of a better life at a better house. And so if they want to dream and if they want to make a dream a reality, how do they get in contact with you? Sure. If you're looking to buy in the next year at all, let's start the process now uh, take a look at your credit and make a plan but give us a call at 701-461-8450 or come see us at 3315 45th street south uh brian johnson always good to have you and smell you in studio look <laughs> smelling on point with your beautiful <laughs> cologne it's great uh folks we're gonna go to break head to live while we're gone this is real estate radio with eric hatch